Northants frustrated by the weather in push for an innings victory. Middlesex looked certain to concede a monumental first innings deficit as they collapsed to 134 for 7 in response to Northamptonshire's large first innings total. Proctor's unbeaten 81 on day two took Northants to 445 all out. Overnight pair Roland Jones and Harris were still there after the first hour of play, holding up Northamptonshire and adding 30 to the total as they batted with more care and attention than their top order colleagues. They were able to pass 50 together before Roland Jones fell LBW playing round a straight ball from Nathan Buck. But Finn came out intent on playing a few shots and with Harris standing firm at the other end, they too reached a 50 partnership together before Harris brought up his own 50 soon afterwards with a two from the bowling of Holder. So it was an excellent session for Middlesex, adding 123 for the loss of just one wicket They'd need more of the same in the afternoon, as they remained 39 away from avoiding the follow-on. Finn wasn't able to last much longer after lunch before edging a buck ball to Holder at slip, and Harris had run out of partners when Murtar skied a ball to Wood at mid-off, giving Buck his fifth wicket. Northamptonshire duly enforced the follow-on, and Buck was in the wickets again almost immediately. He removed Gubbins when he edged one that was angled across him. And then he got the next man in when he caught Eskenazi's edge with one that bounced more than expected. Vasconcelos with the catch. That brought Robson and Milan together and they counter-attacked to excellent effect, scoring quickly with some punishing boundaries. An early tee was called when the rain came and Middlesex at 45 for two. And after a prolonged break, Robson and Milan picked up where they'd left off, pushing the rate with a succession of further boundaries. Robson brought up the 50 partnership with a late cut. And after several more fours from Milan, he reached his 50 from 60 balls, and the 100 partnership was also passed. Unfortunately, bad light brought an early end to play not long afterwards, but Milan and Robson had produced an excellent partnership, which meant Middlesex now only needed 65 to avoid an innings defeat. How long they could remain together on day four could well dictate the result of this game.